Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Tuesday, it's coffee time. No, it's not. It's whiskey time. <laughs> Tired. So Maybe it, you need some coffee. I need to go back on vacation. It's Tuesday, it's whiskey time. Uh, we hope you enjoy what we're doing here. We're doing a local, um, actually extremely local to us, just what, eight miles away, um, Texas uh, craft whiskey called Texacraft. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. So Texacraft is um, distilled in Waxahachie, Texas, not too far from where we live. It is um, from a company that's got a whole ginormous series of different whiskeys. They say they're distilling, not sourcing. Um, they don't, they're not open to the public, so we haven't actually been there. They have offered, the owner has offered us a uh, tour. We just need to make it down there. COVID hit uh, when we were discussing it. And so now two years later, we haven't really made it down there. But we have tried uh, a couple, at least one other of theirs, the um, 257, which I don't know where it's at. It's a 257 uh, whiskey. And we thought it was okay. I've heard lots of people love it. I've heard some people say, eh, but it was pretty decent. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, this is a Texcraft. We haven't actually tried it, believe it or not. This is slated for our advent calendar, our home advent calendar. So we have made those advent calendars, but because the first isn't until tomorrow, uh, we haven't tried it. And I don't even know what day it pops up in our advent calendar, but we're going to try it today. Yeah, I have no idea what day it pops up. Yeah. So... Yeah, even though it's more than half gone, we have not tried it. We just had a sip. I didn't. Did you? No, I meant like, we oh, just okay. had a sip. <laughs> uh, and then we have a couple more that are coming up that um, my wife and I bought from this company. So uh, we look forward to that. So this is a straight Texas bourbon from Texcraft. It is 50% or 100 proof. So it's going to be a little spicy, I think. Aged two years. And the cost is pretty decent, $26.99. $26.99. I have not seen this in anything but this size. Um, I know the 251 comes in 175s. I don't know about this one. <clears throat> so hard to close corks. Easy to open them and drink them. Don't want to close them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the review. We'll leave the off to the side here. Hmm. Smells like a a nice bourbon. I'm getting hints of spearmint, some dark fruit, almost some apple. Maybe. <clears throat> There's some lighter fruits to it. Maybe some molasses. I think I'm getting something sugary. Molasses. Okay, so the vanilla molasses. Maybe. A sweetness to it. Or caramel. Yeah. It's got a nice, refreshing aroma to it. It's not very alcoholic on the nose. Mm -mm. I would say this is about a three and a half yeah. mild to light on aroma. For flavor, it's got some spiciness to it. And sweetness and bitterness. Yeah, a little bit of, I think the bitterness is kind of that medicinal alcohol effect. Oh, and the wood. And the wood. It's like a wood bitter. But it is got some sweetness, some vanilla, some light fruit. Bourbons I normally associate dark fruit, like a dark cherry, but this has got some like crisp, light fruit, like an, I, I keep thinking apple, almost like a Granny Smith. Very silky. I probably put the bite in about a medium. Okay, so the bite you're gonna say is a three. It's not too, it's not too harsh. Bad, but... 
You do it's, notice it. Yeah, you do notice it's got a, a bit of a spiciness to it. It's got a back to the throat linger too. But it's a pleasant linger. But it's not bad. It's yeah. just like that numbingness, like a, a burn that's just there, not mm -hmm. bad. This is actually a really decent whiskey. Yeah. Water tends to level off the the bitterness. alcohol bitterness and make it more a little more complex. So we're getting vanilla. We're getting some uh, woodiness, molasses. I'm getting some light fruit. I'm getting dark fruit on the nose, but I'm thinking some apple-y type of light fruit. Not very much banana, which I also have been getting a lot with bourbons. Yeah, I don't get banana. No banana. Very pleasant. I would actually put this at a three and a half as well on flavor. Mm -hmm. I am actually really liking it. It's got enough complexity to the mm -hmm. flavor where you keep tasting different things. So at $26.99 or $89, that's going to be a three barrel on cost. Actually, it's $26.99. still going to be a three barrel on cost. We both said it's a three and a half on aroma, three and a half on flavor, and a three on bite. So that is going to be... Good solid three. 12.5. Yeah, it's a solid three. Which is really good. Yeah. It is... Oh, actually, that's a 13 points. So it's just a hair above a solid three. Three and a half sounds good. So you want to set it at a three and a half? Yeah. Just give it that little... Quarter boost. What did you say the price was again? Twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, three and a half is good. Okay. Because I mean, it's well rounded flavor aroma without too much of aroma alcohol, so you can sniff it or drink it without getting, you know, mm -hmm. going up your nose. And it's got decent flavor, like not just one flavor. It's kind of complex. Right. I wasn't writing notes down, so I'm trying to write those down so I don't forget. You know what I didn't get on the taste was the spearmint that I'm getting on the nose. I don't even know what spearmint is, man. I don't know. I get it. I get it a little bit. So tell us what you think about Texcraft, if you've ever had it, that local Waxahachie um, distillery. Uh, I don't know if it's available outside of Texas, but I've seen it all over um, our area liquor stores. Um, I think I've even seen it at, at, the, at least one of the big box stores. I think I've seen the other one, the 257, at the other big box store, the one that we really like. So tell us what you think, if you can get it. Um, Texas is starting to mail order um, stuff. So if you're outside of Texas, you might be able to order it by mail. I don't know if they have that ability yet, but that is starting to occur. So tell us what you think and make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is really good whiskey. Mm -hmm. It actually surprises me for the cost and locale and everything so sorry that was a cut down wasn't it sorry i like it he's good cheers well it's also a newer company yeah isn't it? so yeah see you tomorrow oh it's got like tobacco on the aroma after it starts to dry in the glass mm -hmm. like cigar <laughs>